Hey y'all, it's me Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do another tag called the nostalgia tag. As always, I will put in the description where I found this video tag. So let's jump into it. First question, the oldest book on your bookshelf. Of all the books I actually own, honestly, it probably is The Goblet of Fire because I got it right when it came out. And I eventually replaced the first three books with hardback because they were paperback from a used bookstore because when the first book came out, I was five. So I got into it, you know, around the time of the fourth book. I know she's a turf. I'm not promoting her. She's done harm. But that's the honest answer. And I'm still going to keep my books, but I'm not going to buy her new stuff or just openly promote her. But I'm going to be honest. Question two, first love library book. Does this mean like the first book I really loved out of the library? Um, I'm not really sure because I've always gone to the library and I've always read like as long as I can remember. But the first thought that popped in my head was Artemis Fowl. Like I actually got it from the school library and eventually I ended up buying them. But I really loved that first book a lot. A book given to you. Crank. I've talked about it a few times on this channel, so check out those videos. A book recommended to you. There are plenty of these, but I think I'm going to go with the first era Mistborn. I actually enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed the second and third book. I didn't like the first, but yeah, I haven't read era two yet, but the first era Mistborn was really good. So yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> Number five, a buddy read. The Mist by Stephen King, I enjoyed it. It's short. It's actually a novella instead of a book. It's very, like, concise. It wraps up well. Like, you know, there's not, like, a lot of fluff or open-endedness. And the atmosphere of the novella is really, really good. Six, a book that was introduced to you in school. Frankenstein. Like, I still have the copy of Frankenstein that I read my senior year in high school. I absolutely love this classic. I did not expect to because the first time I tried to read Dracula when I was 14, I hated it. And I thought Dracula was going to be, not Dracula, uh, Frankenstein was going to be in the same realm as Dracula. I was wrong. Granted, I was four years older. Reread Dracula as an adult, which was actually in my first video on this channel. And I actually enjoyed it. I think I was just too young the first time. But yeah, Frankenstein. I absolutely loved it. And I loved The Kite Runner, too. Like, I read that my senior year as well. Seven, a genre that gives you nostalgia. Probably middle grade fantasy or any of the, like the magical girl manga. I'm not sure which one would be the best answer, but I read a lot of like, you know, the fantasy girl stuff like uh, Sailor Moon or Tokyo Mew Mew. And then like I read a lot of middle grade fantasy. So it has to be one of those two. Number eight. Literary work that inspires nostalgia. I don't know if uh, this would be considered literary, but I really enjoyed Kira Kira when I was like in middle school. And I've read it two or three times in my life. I haven't read it as an adult and I do plan on rereading it. But I have really fond memories when I think of this sad book. Number nine, a spiritual text that inspires nostalgia. I kind of think this is a weird question because like, does it mean like it lifted my spirits or actually spiritual? So I'm just, even though I'm not religious now as an adult, I was raised in a very Pentecostal Protestant home. So I guess I should say the Bible because I was really, really, for a lack of better terms, indoctrinated so I guess the Bible yeah I don't I didn't know how to answer this and I thought the question was kind of weird but I guess if you know it may open up religious questions or get to know the person more I don't know so guys that was quick and I thought it was a cute little tag so I did it if you enjoyed this or you do this too let me know in the comment section below if there's a video you'd like to see me do or a book you'd like to see me read let me know that too and I'll see you next time